Now I'd like you to imagine that these straws model electrical resistors. Now the reason for that is that um, what this is doing is this is letting electrons flow through it and this straw is going to let air flow through it. Now if I breathe, what I'm doing is I'm using my mouth to kind of push some air through so I'm, my mouth is a bit like the, the potential difference or the voltage and the amount of air that goes through is a bit like the electric current. Now this large one here lets a lot of air but if I have this one over here, it's a bit like a different sort of resistor. Maybe it's got a higher resistance because if I blow with the same force, less air is getting through. So this straw is analogous. It's modeling a resistor. But what happens if I had two of these thin straws? Now, if I was to connect them end to end, this is a bit like placing electrical resistors in series. Now, the resistance of each of these has stayed the same. But what I'm going to do now is if I have two of these and I blow, for the same force I'm applying, only half the amount of air gets through. This is a bit like with a resistor. If you had two identical resistors, which are one after each other, so that's in series, if you have the same potential difference, only half of the current flows. And the reason for this is that when you add resistors in series, their combined resistance is equal to their individual resistances added together. So what we could say is that RT is my total resistance, and that's just equal to the resistance of the first resistor added to the resistance of the second. If I had a third resistor, again, these are all the same value, then what we're doing now is we've got to blow that air through three times as many straws, and that means the resistance has gone up three times compared to what it originally was. So that's what happens with resistors in series. As you add more resistors, their combined resistance increases. We can actually see it uh, using this device over here. So this is a multimeter, and it can be used to measure the current, the potential difference, and if I put, use a setting down at the bottom left, it measures the resistance. And what I can do is I can plug in a resistor to this to look at the resistance of individual resistors, and what I can then do is I can look at the combined resistance of a couple of resistors. And we can see that, again, it just adds up the individual resistances. But what happens if you have resistors in parallel? Well, what we now have are more ways for the air to flow these, through these two straws. So if I blow with a certain force through one of them, and now I have two of them in parallel, for the same force, twice as much air is flowing. Now, in an electrical circuit, what this would mean is if you had resistors in parallel, then their combined resistance decreases. And a very straightforward example, if you had a resistor of 10 ohms in parallel with a resistor of 10 ohms, so two identical resistors, their combined resistance would half to 5 ohms. Now, you don't need to know for many exam boards what uh, the actual um, equations are to work out the resistors in parallel, but you just need to know that as you have more resistors in parallel, there's basically more ways for the electric current to flow in that circuit, and therefore their combined resistance decreases.